I'd like to talk about like industry trends and challenges. Um, you know, you know, trucking industry has unique demands, and we kind of talked to a lot of that. But what do you do, what have you found to be the biggest hurdle to you know widespread electrification? You know, the infrastructure is certainly uh, going to be one of them. You know, um, if perhaps not quite as much with the refuse side. You know, we also have a medium duty uh, electric truck as well. Um, and these are, they're both fairly similar from the standpoint that, you know, customers have made it clear they want to go a whole shift on a charge. They don't want to take a truck down in the middle of the day. And that was kind of one of the things that I don't know that necessarily surprised us, but, you know, we hadn't quite expected that. We thought they would be a little more open to uh, midday charging where it was needed, but they made it clear they want to go all day. Okay. So, you know, we do have, have put more energy on the truck. Um, but um, those trucks, you know, our trucks, they'll charge at home. You know, they're not going to find use public charging. Uh, they'll have infrastructure at their facility. You know, they park the truck same place every night. It sits there all night. So, you know, you know where to put it. You know when it's going to be charging. So from that perspective, it works well. Uh, but, you know, going forward, as you venture out into other applications, you're going to need opportunity to charging outside of home base. And, you know, on the truck side, that barely exists today. There's probably three or four operating uh, you know, truck-specific uh, charging stations in the country right now. I mean, it's just it's just not there. Um, you know, we are working with groups um, within the Volvo Group. You know, there's a Powering America's commercial transportation, and they call it a PAC coalition, to set up infrastructure corridors. But you know, that's still yeah. it's years down the road. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, the infrastructure is a big one. Um, the capability of the vehicles, you know, range. You know, how far can it go? Um, right now, with a battery electric vehicle, you know, somewhere between three and 500 miles is what you're going to get maximum out of a battery electric vehicle right now. And you're talking about passenger car or yours? No, uh, battery electric vehicle truck, yes, like an over the road truck. Yeah, because you know, yeah, so, I, uh, I thought I read where it has like a 100-mile range typical. Well, you know, if you look at a refuse truck, it's a little different than an over-the-road truck. We're not just going A to B. We're going A to B and stopping 800 times in between uh, to do work. So, yeah, so, you know, if you look at our range from a, just from a mile perspective, it doesn't look that impressive. But, you know, if you can do 100 miles and 1,000 pickups in between, now that's a little more. Right. It looks a little more impressive, uh, you know, than just going 100 miles on a charge. You know, that's so. What kind of customer acceptance have you seen? Is that an issue that you've had to overcome? I mean, I think you said you had a customer come to you asking about it first. So, oh, yeah, it was the city of New York, yeah. And I mean, customers that have the trucks really like them, um, you know, the operators, especially if you look at that. If you think about a garbage truck, uh, you know, you're sitting in the cab and the diesel engine is right here. You know, you're, 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 it's an armrest. Yeah, basically. and it's noisy. And it makes noise, and it makes heat, and it makes vibration, and you don't have any of that in the electric truck. So the operators get in there, and, and it's a revelation. It really is. You know, that's the first thing they notice when they get in there is they can't believe how quiet it is. You know, we jokingly call it our electric golf cart because that's kind of what it sounds like. Um, you know, the other thing they notice that they really like is the uh, acceleration. You know, the electric motors, they make their maximum torque at zero RPM. So when you step on it, it goes right now. You know, you're not waiting for torque converters to hook up or turbos to spool up. You know, you step on it, it goes. So they're out there in the parking lot doing donuts right now with the snow? <laughs> Almost. But no, we've, we've got a, we've got a, you know, traction control and other algorithms in there keep them from doing that. But yeah, you know, if turn that stuff off, yeah, you can do some fun stuff.